which is better algo trading or manual trading discretionary trading approach or system based trading approach so if you are in a confusion to choose which is the best path for you this video is definitely going to be helpful for you first let me explain what is this algo trading see if you have not watched moneyball movie i would highly recommend you to watch that movie first it's a sport drama movie where brad pitt is kind of a team manager who is trying to you know hire a specific set of team players so just like how in ipl people try to learn more about the players like how their past record is how their performance is and based on that each of these team managers tries to hire specific players and then they go on to the match and you know based on the strength of the team a specific team wins the match with respect to moneyball movie how do they select these players that is totally based on statistical approach so there will be a guy who will analyze all the past performance of all the players and based on that he'll create a statistical record and he'll tell see these are like underdogs where you would never know these guys are not really famous but based on the past historical data it states that these guys are consistent with their approach so instead of playing a higher amount and trying to you know hire the best players we can hire these underdogs where definitely they would perform really well based on the past historical data sets so brad pitt what he'll do is he'll you know go with these you no know, recommendation instead of his own intuition his own experience he'll follow a system based approach based on the statistical approach he'll go and speak to those players and he'll hire those players so these players who are not really well known but because of past record that states that these guys are really consistent based on the statistical approach he'll hire them he'll make them as a team and then that team eventually wins the championship so that is the basic you know story of this moneyball game so this is exactly what happens with respect to rule based approach or algo based approach so instead of you relying on your own experience you are relying on the past historical market data and you are taking decisions based on what the system says so you don't have any you know words over it whatever the system says you are just going to follow that that is exactly what the movie moneyball also depicts so the major thing that discretionary traders say that this is best is mainly because they have that sense of control over the markets they think that okay i am in control with respect to what i am going to do today so if the market is going to reverse i immediately react i don't wait for the signal system to give a sell signal or buy signal so based on their overall experience based on overall the number of years that they have spent with the markets they have studied overall certain chart patterns so based on that they could easily make decisions so discretionary trading is not random trading they don't simply no take any random trades they have their own intuitions based on experience and based on that they take the trading decisions with respect to algo trading whether you have experience or not people just wanted to go with the process oriented approach because they are fed up with this decision making process they don't want to keep taking decisions over the longer period of time so that is why sells you know certain people prefer algo trading certain people you no know, certain people prefer a discretionary trading approach and there are lot of you no know, famous traders who are really famous who made huge fortune they are actually discretionary traders let me show you, you know what are the some of the top 3 traders who are discretionary traders and what is their actual net worth paul tudor jones is one of the famous trader he is also a discretionary based trader where he has a total net worth of almost 810 crores us dollars and there is another trader called george soros so let us see what is his net worth so george soros net worth is approximately 670 crores usd and even the other person john paulson let us check his net worth so all these three traders are really really famous traders and his net worth is almost 350 crores usd so it is not that no discretionary trading doesn't make money algo trading is easy it is totally on the kind of approach that you follow and these three world famous traders are the perfect example that shows that with discretionary trading definitely huge money can be made there will always be a debate between you know a discretionary trading and algo trading it is just like how you know few years before when people were arguing which is best technical based or fundamental based so both have totally different approach there are people who make money completely through technical analysis and there are people who make money completely through fundamental analysis what i have observed is technical analysis helps you in figuring out when to buy and fundamental analysis helps you to figure out what to buy so when someone says discretionary trading is bad or when someone says algo trading is the best it is based on their view it is based on their perspective so you don't necessarily need to follow what the other person is preaching you have to figure out what suits you so over the period what i have observed for myself is 
both that kind of trading system works fine but at what cost with respect to discretionary trading i have to be in front of the system where i have to be watching the markets or i have to constantly taking multiple decisions which might not work for me which i don't prefer i prefer algo trading not only for the overall process it gives me sense of relief from the markets i am not a person who love trading i love making money through trading but i don't love sitting in front of the system from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock making multiple decisions placing multiple orders no i don't want to do that i'm okay with whatever the money that i could make with respect to algo trading because i need to have life outside of trading i wanted to travel to a lot of places i want to meet a lot of you know people and i wanted to pursue certain things like you know learning keyboards or learning dancing going to gym so i want to have you know, a life outside of trading which might not be really possible if i go with a discretionary based approach because i don't want to constantly make multiple decisions so you need to ask yourself what suits you see if you have 100 crores in your hand currently would you do what you are currently doing you ask yourself so everybody is into the markets to make money right and they tend to think that at one point of time once i make huge money i'll travel around the world i'll do this i'll do that blah 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 everything but what i have observed in my own personal experience is you don't really need to make tons of money to do what you really love to do so with respect to myself i really like traveling to multiple places and i've been doing that for the last 15 years even from my infosys days even if i'm making 10000 per month i used to travel because i never felt travel is luxurious i i thought it is necessity so you can do multiple things with whatever the current net worth you have currently so you really don't need to achieve x amount of money to do no y amount of activities it has nothing to do with your overall money with whatever the current you no know, money or income that you are earning still you can you no know, pursue with what you really like to do so with respect to trading what i would highly recommend you is don't get lost with trading because from 2008 to 2014 almost for 6 years i was totally lost with trading i you know spent so much of money so much of hours back testing multiple things looking back i realized that i have lost so much of considerable amount of time in the markets then i stopped doing all those things and totally shifted to this process based trading oriented approach because i don't want to spend so much of time taking decisions from morning till evening to take those trades so that is what it gave me huge relief so algo trading is not a money making machine but it gave me huge freedom with respect to time i can pursue whatever things that i really like so you have to figure out what you really love so there are you know a friend like mine who have told you who still prefer discretionary trading because he really love the markets he wanted to do all those analysis but with respect to people like me where i really hate those process i love my, making money with respect to markets but i don't want to follow the markets from morning till evening instead i can spend time in creating those back testing ideas in creating those systems but not with respect to order placement so to conclude i would definitely say both discretionary trading as well as algo trading works absolutely fine you have to ask yourself what suits you so when someone says this doesn't work don't follow that it means that it doesn't work for him not necessarily the same is applicable for everybody else so when someone says such kind of things you can just ignore and see ask yourself whether okay i can take this or not will it work for me or not if it works you continue to focus on that if it doesn't work find the one which is suitable for you and follow that so that is what i want to convey in this video i'll see you guys next week with another topic bye